right, so the time is now here. We have the 1129 maintenance information, and this confirms your collaboration update. And it's been something that I've been telling you, so thank you for everyone that said, no way, that's real. It is real. That's because that's how NetMarble operates. So today, let's hop into it if you're new to the channel. <laughs> like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. Again, starting time for this collaboration. Eh, it's not much. It's a, it's a normal update, not like Nick A, which, you know, is a seven-hour update time. Here, yeah, it's pretty simple. But we have Rachel, Shane, and this character over here. Yep, that is Seven Nights. I told you it was Seven Nights. Remember that? Um, this was basically confirmed because leaks have been, like very accurate not a hundred percent all the time on who releases and in what order but most of the time it's very accurate so yeah the collaboration is real the collaboration is this now let's find out together what this looks like here you go so there you go we don't have official images as of right now because i don't know why this game doesn't do that but they don't give official images until tomorrow right now this is what the character looks like in uh seven nights that's what that looks like we have over here shane that is what this character looks like also first one was rachel again we have yun he something like that i don't know how to say it uh that is the third character three female characters keep that in mind hence why the silhouettes were three female characters so we kind of knew that but yes these are your three characters official again rachel over here shane over here and yun he yun he i'm sorry but that's there so cool again one is an ssr plus as leaked one is an ssr as leaked and the other one's an ssr as leaked again very basic very easy i think we all can understand uh those basic things so beyond that we have a new costume over here for this um i'm not even trying to pronounce his name but it's dark Eberus. Eberus. yeah let's go with that uh new feature ignition weapon baby time for some uh some meta defining things some power creep i don't know man <laughs> i don't know how it's gonna go but uh yeah this stuff looks pretty cool uh based on what we know about it i think the system can be a big hit or miss but I'm gonna hope, and it's not like a, it's a miss. I hope it's not, but I think it's like a new system of grinding gear because Gotcha Games love that the end game is gear grinding. Like, you don't understand. Gotchas love that. Who needs to make content when your end game can just be purely gear grinding? <laughs> it's like a, it's like a selling point. A uh, new feature is Black Market. It's a brand new way to get some SSR pluses uh, potentially for free. I don't know how it's gonna operate or how the system actually looks, but hey, extra SSR pluses in my book is a win. So I'll take that. Beyond that, we have the secret floor, a new feature coming soon. I believe the secret floor is how you're aim, uh, aiming to earn uh, ignition weapon items and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Uh, all this stuff is very, very important. And for a collaboration update, uh, pretty good. Usually games don't like give core features like that because uh, they want to focus on the collab, but it's their IP, so they can do whatever they want. <laughs> Literally, right? Uh, we next up have Shinsu Link SS2 getting added in. We have new adventure floors, 36 to 40. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty pretty decent amount. We have a new event, the Seven Nights Collab Summon. So again, it is confirmed to be a separate banner. Okay, I realize that now. Uh, beyond that, we have a new event, Knives Ready Flame Set. The Royal Cook-Off is a ghost story event, which is, again, uh, regarding the bird. You realize that? Okay, okay. We have Seven Nights Daily Festival. Some sort of, like, I'm guessing it's a daily festival, so some rewards when you do it daily, I'm guessing. Let's go with that. Um, it's not a check-in event, clearly, because this is the check-in event. It usually specifically says check-in event, so we'll go with that. Uh, or login event. But again, we have the Royal Cook-Off check-in event. We have the Seven Nights Daily Festival. We have an event boss coming soon. Uh, probably seven nights oriented. I'm just gonna go off a kind of wing here and say that. Uh, with the Royal Cook of as a go event missions, so some nice, nice rewards. Big update, big update. Uh, we do also, by the way, not gonna, not gonna forget that, but we do have an exchange shop. So remember, a lot of rewards in this, a lot of freebies, a lot of stuff to push your account. Again, given it's not, you know, collab oriented, I wonder if they're gonna give us a free character. Given again, it's a character in this update shouldn't they give us a dupe of the character in this uh, unless i'm completely wrong uh, or a costume or something like that i don't, I don't know what they're gonna give us but uh, they should give us something in this um usually when it's like a big event like this they give us something good but who knows um beyond that we have a mini game event which is the arcade mini game wonder how that's gonna go uh we have a new convenient feature auto progress mode oh my god 10 out of 10 um yeah i'll take that new products new improvements we have over here tower of god our world our new world app icon has been updated from endorsey it's gonna be zahardo okay i don't know how much i feel about that dude I, i'm so used to looking at endorsey when i log in now i'm gonna see zahard i don't know how i feel at uh, zahard's just more, much more cooler i guess i don't know a teammate summon history feature uh, which is a cool feature to have uh, there's a limit to it so realize that now but it's always welcome uh it gives you an idea of when you last got shafted uh so you can flex your luck to everyone else and say see 
I've been shafted for the last three months. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey, a great feature uh, for those that have uh, bad luck, because now you can show how bad this game is. Uh, teammate uh, skill bounds work. Uh, certain teammates only. Teammate skill balance work. Oh, they're they're doing the rebalances, yeah. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, uh, who actually got reworked. And they remember they they mentioned who would get reworked, but I I want to know how much. So rewards adjustments are finally kicking in. Improvements related to content use is also kicking in. Fixed the certain teammates illustration. So I wonder what that also uh, turns out to be. Other bug fixes and changes. And then we have oh no. Oh no, we knew it. <laughs> oh man, I told you it's gonna be a collab ticket. Oh no. Ah, oh, dude, suspending a thousand and collab tickets times ten. Yep, there you go. Remember, like on my account, I showed you I had 400, 400 purple tickets. I could have reached that by the by the time I finished the collab, right? Like 500, 600, right? Um, because altogether I spent 250, um, I gained like a hundred <laughs> during this recent event. Um, and now, now it's gone because yeah, they want to do a collab ticket, uh, which means they better have like an 8% banner. They better have the dupe so highly rated up. It's not even freaking funny. They better have it where each collab character requires only five dupes. They need to literally change the entire game to make this not a bad collab. Otherwise this collab is going to go down in the history for killing the game. <laughs> Like, literally, bro. And killing the game right before BCM launches is the worst thing you could do. So, I'm going to hope that it's like an 8% banner. It's either 8% banner or they nerf the dupes down to like 6 dupes required or, or or 12 dupes required. Cut it in sort of half in a way. Um, or, let's, let's go on to like a real thing here. Every 50 summons is a pity. That's good. Um, beyond that, like, dude, getting Suspendium is not too hard. But it's not as easy as getting purple tickets, right? They better be giving like at least 100 to 150 collab tickets throughout all this event stuff. Like in the in the event shop alone, I better see like 100. In, in the login, I better see 50. Dude, you don't realize how hard it is going to be to get to use Suspendium. Remember, you learned about the collab two months ago. You could have saved maybe a max of like what? 70 to 80 to 90 K is when I started saving. Um, and remember I was already saving prior to that. So like 70 to 80 to 90 K, 100 K maybe. Let's let's go on a, like a little bit of an uh, kind of extension there. They better give a lot and a lot of collab tickets. Otherwise it's over. So again, we, we knew it. It, we, it was obviously gonna be uh, collab tickets. Like as soon as we read the dev notes, we understood it 100%. Uh, those are literally considered normal summon. Once we found out that they said clearly, uh, we knew it was collab tickets, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collab tickets coming soon. <laughs> like, if you could exchange your purple tickets for collab tickets, that'll be a 10 out of 10 feature. But w what is the likelihood of that actually happening? Very, very abysmal. So, not going to expect much there. But that is, in fact, your SSR Plus over here, Rachel, Shane, and this character over here. The Seven Nights collaboration coming very, very soon. We have a new costume, new feature for, again, Ignition Weapons, Black Market, Secret Floor, SS2 for Sinistu Link. 36 to 40. Again, very basic stuff. I don't think I need to go over that again, but... Yep, main is coming tomorrow, uh, or the day after. Uh, beyond that, I will have probably the skill showcase tomorrow, and we'll have like a first look at the characters, gameplay, um, skill, hashtag, introduction, uh, because they can't do anything other than hashtag, because, you know, you know we can't, can't give you the, the, the information on the kit before it's too powerful, you know? You, you, might, you might break the game before the character releases, so <laughs> there's that. Thanks for watching, take care, and uh, collaboration will be soon. W or L? Comment that down below.